Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this ninth day of October, and it is Sunday, and today's topic is titled, Crossing the Jordan. And so before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. So, praise the Lord. All right, so again, uh, don't have uh, music uh for the background for with Brother Dean and Sister Patty, but uh, Lord willing, be uh, doing that again so you can hear them in the background as I'm singing along with them. So try to do this uh, a cappella without the music. So um, that'll be uh, when I do the scripture song here in a minute. But uh, first, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. If I have not said that already, amen. So we're going to start with today's scripture song. From John fifteen seven, So here we go. Try this out here. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done Unto you. Amen. So, I know there's a little rough there, but uh, you can always go and listen to them sing it on the um, their webpage. And I'll give you that information at the end. And then we'll try to do yesterday's and then today's again at the end of the broadcast. So, amen. Alright, so that was the scripture song from John 15, 7. And now we'll go ahead and get into the... Topic here for the Baptist bread for October 9th, crossing the Jordan. And it says in 2 Kings 2.14, And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they they parted hither and thither. And Elisha went over 2 Kings 2.14. So, this is right after Elijah got caught up in the um, chariot of fire, the um, whirlwind there. So, amen. And today's author is um, Brother Rick Gravely. And he is uh, from, let's see, pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Rossville, Georgia. So, let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of crossing the Jordan. And I encourage you to read the whole entire uh, a passage there from uh, Second Kings, uh, chapters one and two, about Elijah being caught up and Elisha taken over. Amen. So here we go. Elisha has taken Elijah's mantle in our text. However, I think the greater truth is that he crossed the Jordan. The mantle had some significance, but it was not a lucky charm. So we don't believe in luck. We believe in God's word. So. Amen. Uh, when Elijah, when Elisha had the opportunity to take or to ask Elijah uh, for something, he did not ask for the mantle. In verse nine, he asked for a double portion of his spirit. <clears throat> when the sons of the prophets saw him after he crossed back to the Canaan uh, side of the river, they didn't say uh, the mantle of Elijah rests on Elisha. But the spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Uh, all right. Uh, my point is simple, he says. Uh, while mantles can have their place, they can also make much of the man rather than the God of the man. Hmm. So we don't want that. So we don't want the uh, things to take place of uh, uh, the God of the man, who is God Almighty. Amen. Uh, in 2 Kings 2.8, Elijah takes Elisha across the Jordan to the wilderness side. This was Elijah's last act of service before he was taken up. Uh, Canaan uh, was real to Elisha, but it had not become personal. Mm. Uh, he needed to cross into Canaan himself and by himself. He would be the man Elijah was uh, with when crossing over into victory, we must not stand on Jordan's stormy banks and cast a wistful eye. We must cross over and live 
a victorious spirit filled life. Oh, amen. So let's do that. Praise the Lord. Live a spirit filled Christ like life. Amen. And so praise the Lord. So that good uh, topic there today and good advice. So let's take heed to that. Amen. All right. So good, good uh, topic there. So Elijah and Elisha. All right. So now it's time to get into today's topic for the uh, boots on the ground. And this is for October 9th, and it's titled Eye in the Sky for October 9th. And this takes place on October 9th, 1999. And it says here in Proverbs 15:3, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Proverbs 15:3. So with that in mind, let's make sure we're always doing right, living right, and obeying the Lord, showing Him that we love Him, not just out of... Uh, uh, going and doing it because we're afraid of being judged, but to do it because we love him. Amen. So, praise the Lord. All right, so let's get into this topic, titled The Eye in the Sky. All right, it says, During the Cold War, the United States sought to develop and deploy re uh, recognizance uh, aircraft uh, spy planes, in parentheses, that could not only photograph vital intelligence, but also evade surface-to-air missiles and hostile aircraft. The U-2, while efficient, proved too, too easy to shoot down. This was evidenced by pilot Gary Powers' 1960 U-2 incident in which a Soviet missile shot down the U-2 while Powers was on an aerial rec uh, recognizance a mission to collect photographic intelligence. He ended up a prisoner of war for two years. Hmm. Uh, four years later, Lockheed developed the SR-71 Blackbird. To date, no other plane can fly higher or faster than the Blackbird. Constructed from uh, titanium and able to reach cruising altitudes of nearly 90,000 feet, the sleek spy plane could fly at speeds three times faster than the speed of sound, Mach 3. Wow. Uh, the Blackbird also sported uh, high-resolution cameras that were able to look at 100,000 square miles of the Earth's surface every hour. Hmm. Uh, when the Blackbird was on duty, everything was visible. On 9 October 1999, the Blackbird made its final flight. This plane model is now on display at various museums. The Blackbird, as advanced as it was, had limits to its ability to inspect the detail on the Earth. Uh, trees and other natural uh, obstacles could block its view, but God has no limit to his knowledge, uh, whether of good deeds or bad deeds. Uh, God sees everything. Um, well chooses what he sees and what he doesn't see, so we got to take that into uh, account. Um, but he does have those that, that go down and come down to this earth as watchers and, and sends a report back up to him. So, um, amen. All right, so uh, I continue on. this for mankind, this truth can be encouraging or convicting depending on your perspective. So, again, uh, like I said in the other uh earlier here making sure we realize that that god um can look upon uh us and see what we're doing and so with his uh watchers that is and people or his uh those watchers whoever they may be uh giving a report back to him so let's keep that in mind all right so uh um continue on it says the bible says that god is the one who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. First Corinthians four five. Do you welcome the gaze of God, or do you seek to hide f uh, from it? First John one seven tells us. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanseth us from all sin. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. So if you're saved, born again, 
you're washing the blood of the lamb, but uh, that doesn't mean that we have the license to continue to sin and live in sin, that, but we uh, be in obedience to the Lord. Amen. So, out of love, that is. All right. Amen. Good, good, uh, another good devotional there. Okay, so now today's uh, hymn will be titled <clears throat> Ivory Palaces. And this is hymn 155 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And uh apologize again, I don't have any music to go along with this, but I will read you the stanzas and you can look it up uh, later. This kind of sounds like a familiar one that we sing a lot or uh, quite a bit. But um, go ahead and this is a spiritual song, The Preciousness of Christ by Henry uh, Barraclough, uh, B-A-R-R. A C L O U G H, eighteen ninety one to nineteen eighty three, and so this is what he uh, wrote here on this topic. There, this hymn, Ivory Palaces, and there's four stanzas here, so no story with it. But uh, here we go. All right, so it says in stanza one, My Lord has garments so wondrous fine, and myrrh their texture fills. Uh, its fragrance reached to this heart of mine with joy my being thrills um and so oh i guess I, so um the frame goes out of the ivory palaces into a world of woe only his great eternal love Made my sin, saved my Savior go. Made my Savior go. So that's what the refrain sounds like. Um, let's see if I can try to get the tune here with that. Let's see. Um, so stanza two. His life had also its sorrow sore, for aloes had a part. And when I think of the cross he bore, my eyes with teardrops start out of the ivory palaces into a world of woe. Only his greater, or excuse me, his great eternal love made my Savior go. Amen. His garments, too, were in cassia dipped with healing in a touch. Each time my feet in some sin had slipped, he took me from its clutch. Out of the ivory palaces into a world of woe, only his great eternal love made my Savior go. In garments glorious he will come to open wide the door, and I shall enter my heavenly home to dwell forevermore. Out of the ivory palaces into a world of woe, only his great eternal love made my Savior go. Amen. So <clears throat> I was going to, I was had it in my head how it sounded, but can't seem to get it out. So um, I encourage you to go look it up and listen to it because it's a good hymn. Amen. All right. So I'll give you the references here. And the first one for stanza one is Psalm 45 8, and then Acts uh, 2 28, and then stanza two is uh, John 19 39, and then uh, Lamentations one twelve, and then stanza three we have Matthew fourteen thirty six, and Psalm ninety four eighteen, and then stanza four is First Thessalonians four sixteen, and First Thessalonians four seventeen, and then the refrain is John one ten and Ephesians three two, Amen. So that is the end of today's hymn, and. Uh, so, amen. <clears throat> All right, so now we'll go ahead and try to do the scripture songs again. And we'll do yesterday's. I'll try to sing it for you. This is from uh, yesterday, Acts 20, 24. And it says, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto itself, so that I may finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. <clears throat> But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. 
and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. All right, so that was my uh, poor attempt of singing that scripture song. Amen. All right, so that was yesterday's, and then today's is John fifteen seven again. And uh, it's, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So, here we go. I'll try this one again. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. All right, so that was a little sampling there. I apologize about, I usually have the music to sing along with it, and amen, but uh, that'll uh, uh, be good enough for now. So, and if you want to uh, learn these scripture songs more, they're available to uh, listen to on www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website. Amen. And they're missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them, Brother Dean's health. And then Sister Patty is flying back to uh, America to uh, visit her mom, is what uh, it said on the Facebook page and on his uh, uh, thing there. So pray for her as her she travels back here for a short period of time, and he stays behind over there. So, amen. All right, so that's the, the scripture song um, uh, information. And let me give you tomorrow's uh, scripture song, and then tomorrow's topic for the Baptist bread, and then the boots on the ground. And then we'll give you the, or I'll give you the um, hymn for tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the 10th, and we'll be singing Psalms 62.8. It says, trust in him at all times, ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Amen. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song. And Lord will be back tomorrow night doing that when I get back to Florida. So amen. All right. And uh, we're going to have to do uh, yesterday's uh, broadcast uh, tomorrow night. And then... Um, uh, I think it was Fridays that I didn't do one of those days. I didn't do one, so I'll have to do those um, live for you and then upload them to YouTube. So, amen. Apologize about that, but uh, um, so we'll get those done, and uh, so you can watch those. And amen. All right. So that uh, I wanted to tell you that. So um, let's see. So tomorrow is uh, Baptist bread for the tenth. Will be titled. God sees and knows, and the passage is from Ezekiel 8 to 12. So that would be tomorrow's uh, topic, God sees and knows. So, all right, and then the boots on the ground topic will be titled, let me get there, so today was the 9th, so tomorrow's the 10th. All right, so tomorrow's topic is titled, Wounded for Our Salvation. And this takes place on October 10, 1927. And the passage is Isaiah 53, verse 5. So, amen. And I'll probably read you the entirety of Isaiah 53. And that's about a uh, prophecy about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, wounded for our salvation from the Boots on the Ground book. And then tomorrow's uh, hymn will be titled, Wonderful, Wonderful Jesus. And this is hymn 156 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this uh, book is available on MelodyPublications.com. That's where you can get a copy of that. So, amen. Let me put the bookmarkers in there. So, remember where to go. Amen. All right. And then again, the Scripture Song uh, CDs and book are available online at www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website. Again, missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. And then we got the Baptist Spread devotional book, and that's available to order on the internet at www.baptistspread.com. So that's that information. And finally, we got the Boots on the Ground book, and that's available to order off the internet. Amen. So check that out if you want to get a copy of that. 
All right, well, that'll be it for today. So um, thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, remember, Jesus saves, so believe on him. Amen. All right, bye-bye for now.